let's automate our spending tracker. So you might have a spending tracker already or be building your own spending tracker in Google Sheets and wanna create some automations for it. Let's create four automations that show you the extent of what Google Sheets can do. One is we're going to auto date every entry so we don't have to type in the date every time. We're gonna highlight some incomplete rows so if we maybe add an expense but don't have the price, it shows us, hey, you need to fill in the price. Once we fill in the price, we want to automatically total every month, or at least this month that we're in, and we're going to set a budget, and we're going to email ourselves when we are over budget. So our spending tracker looks like this. We just add in an expense, have a cost, and we're going to date, put the date here. So let's add, let's do this first one, the auto date entry. We're going to go up to extensions, app script. Once you open it, it'll look like this. We're gonna create a function called onEdit. This is actually a built-in function. We just have to name our function this. We're gonna use E as an event to get some really interesting information about each of the edits we do. So our variable row is gonna be equal e.range.n. We'll know what column we're in by going e.range.getColumn. Column here equal to, th actually, I think, let's look at our sheet, spending. Yeah, we're just gonna enter the cost here. Once we enter the cost, then we wanna enter a date. So it's going to be, and we also wanna make sure we're on the correct tab, so we wanna make sure we're on spending. So variable sheet equals e dot, we'll do variable s first, spreadsheet app dot get active. Spreadsheet, ss dot get active sheet dot get sheet name, and we'll add an ampersand here, two ampersands to say and, sheet is equal to spending. We only want to do whatever comes after this if, if we're editing column 2b and on the spending tab. You can actually add one more thing here, double ampersand, row is greater than one. We don't want to do anything unless we're not on the header row. And if we are on the second column, in the spending tab, we want to get the date. Variable date equals utilities dot format date new date capital D. Our time zone. I'm just going to put in plus zero. You can put in whatever time zone you're in. And now the format of the date. I'm going to do month month slash dd two d slash four years. This could be any format you want. You can edit this text as the format you want. And then we're going to set the value of the date. Well, we're going to set it in s s dot get spreadsheet, get sheet by name, spending, get range. We're gonna go to whatever row we're editing on and the third column, and we're gonna do dot set value. And the value will be the date. Let's save that and check. This function on edit will always trigger any time we edit something or change the value of a cell. So let's put in breakfast today, five bucks, and there's the date automatically Enter. You can do that again. Maybe we add second breakfast for $10, and there's the date, automatic. So if we do not enter, maybe brunch, if we enter an item but we don't enter the cost, we want to add a automation for that. But we're just going to highlight it. So let's go up to Format, Conditional Formatting, Apply to Range B colon B, and we're going to actually say custom formula because we want to do something other than just is it blank. We want to say is blank a one. Put not around it. We're going to put and two things. Is blank b1. This a1 we need to put a dollar sign in front of the a, the parentheses. And now every time we have a something in a and nothing in b, it'll be highlighted. So it's again it's and wrapped around everything. Not is blank a one with the dollar sign in front of the a, and is blank b. That is true. So let's make this purple, let's say. That's pretty garish. So if we don't have a cost, it'll be there. So let's put in some $50, $60 here. And as we're entering these, you'll see we need some template. As you see, we have our timestamps added here. and. Those that are not filled out have this garish purple here. So we're like, hey, we've got to fill that out. All right, we've highlighted our incomplete rows. We've added an auto date entry. Let's create an automatic monthly total. Let's go on to our settings column. Equals, we're going to sum up 
a filter. The filter is going to be B column filtered by the C column. We're gonna make sure that we're in the month of today. So we're gonna wrap month around C, and we're gonna say equals month and wrap that around today. So today is a function that gives us a date every single day. We say whatever day is today, that's today. We now know what the month is. And if that's equal to anything in the C column, we'll add up the filter, the results of everything there as a sum. And there we go, we got a monthly sum right here. And we can put a budget here, $3,300 let's say. So now we wanna email when we're over budget. So let's go back to our automation and look at our on edit. Now, on edit is definitely going to be of use to us here, but a simple trigger, which is this function on edit, is not going to be able to email ourselves. So we're gonna create a new function, email. We're gonna have the E just like we have in our simple trigger here. And we're gonna set it up almost exactly like our function up here. So we're gonna need our variable row to know what row we're on. We're gonna need our column. We're gonna need to know the sheet as well, almost everything, and we're gonna use a similar if. If our, when we're editing, the column we're editing is two and we're on spending and row, yeah, we want to do something. What is it that we want to do? Well, we want one more item here and budget spending is over budget. So let's get variable budgets equal to SS dot get sheet by name and that's settings get range. Let's go back to our sheet and make sure we're getting the right range and we need to get the value there for spending. Same exact thing except this range is not going to be A2, it's going to be B2. So we're just going to compare those two cells and if spending is over the budget we're going to do something. We're going to email ourselves actually. So who is a two? Variable two is ourselves which is session dot get active user get email that's just us or yourself we're going to write a subject equals over budget and we're going to write a body to the text to the email hey you're over your budget check this sheet and we can even put in the url of this sheet we'll get the url of this active spreadsheet and let's actually email that to us so gmail app dot send email to comma subject comma body. If we try to run this function right now, it will ask us to authorize and then it will give us an error. If you don't wanna run this function right now and just wanna put the trigger first, you'll have to authorize when you create the trigger. So let's do that. Let's go over to triggers. We need to do this in order for the Gmail app to work. Add trigger on the bottom right. We're gonna select our email when over budget and select event type on edit. Click save. At this moment, we'll have to authorize our automations, just the use of those items like Gmail app and Drive app. Once it's set, you'll see this email over budget. So let's run this a couple times. Let's say it's 25. If we go over to our settings, our total is not over budget. If we do 55, puts in the timestamp. And now we're over budget. Let's do a new new suit, $66. And we're way over our budget. Let's go to our executions and see if we've sent that email. It says completed. And if I check my email, I see I have an over budget email. Hey, you're over your budget. Check this sheet. And it has a link to the sheet we're on. Very cool. So we've now emailed when over budget. We have automatically created a data entry, highlighted in complete rows using conditional formatting. We've also created an automatic monthly total and email ourselves when we're over budget. Thanks for watching and enjoy this spending tracker automated. Feel free to subscribe here to Better Sheets on YouTube to get more automations, get more out of your Google Sheets, make your life in Google Sheets way better.